Hi everybody, this is John Piquero and on this video, I will share to you kung magkano po yung kinita ko last June 2018. Every month, nag-upload po ako ng video for my freelance home-based jobs income report. Ito po ay income na kinita ko from my freelancing gigs or home-based online jobs. I have other source of income pero hindi ko po isasali dito. Ang ipapakita ko lang po dito ay yung earnings ko from my online jobs. My goal here is to share this opportunity to our fellow Filipinos to show that it's possible to earn an income online working from the comfort of your home, that it's possible to earn a living na walang stricto na boss, walang annoying office mates, walang traffic, at higit sa lahat ay palagi mong makakasama ang iyong pamilya. In my last monthly income report na mention ko po doon na gabaguin ko po yung process ko and how I track my freelancing income, uh, to make this report much more accurate, especially the US dollar to peso exchange rate. So ngayon, puta na po tayo sa computer screen ko at tingnan po natin yung details of my June online job income. Bago po yan, if first time nyo po sa channel na to at gusto mong matuto kung paano kumita online, click mo lang tong subscribe button at yung bell para ma-notify po kayo kung may bago na po akong upload na video. You can see here is my Excel tracker and this is for June 2018. So, ang total na kinita ko is $1,311.44 and if converted to peso after transaction costs, that's 68,476 pesos. I have two types of clients, direct clients and Upwork clients. Sa mga first time pa po nakarinig nito, yung Upwork is a website, it's an online job platform at doon po ako kumukuha ng mga online jobs. Upwork is like a middleman, uh, meron siyang cut or commission sa kinikita mo for every uh, every client. Mas maganda kung direct client kasi walang third party na involved, walang middleman so walang kaltas or cut doon sa kinikita mo. So, unahin po natin yung mga direct clients. This client, binayaran niya ako through PayPal. So, pwede natin i-check itong amount na to doon sa PayPal account ko. So, si client nag-send ng payment through PayPal and then, we withdraw ko yung amount papunta sa local bank account ko which is, in this case, it's uh, BPI. The second one is with the same client and sa PayPal pa rin niya ako binayaran. So, same pa rin. The third one, through Payner, nag-send ng payment si client. So, punta po tayo sa Payner account ko at tingnan po natin itong amount na to. Punta lang po tayo sa transactions at dito po natin may kita itong amount uh, at ito po yun. By the way nga po pala, if you will create an account sa Payoneer, if magsasign up po kayo, bibigyan ka po nila ng $25. Pero para makuha niyo po yung $25, you need to refer a friend at kailangan niyang mag-sign up din. If you want to learn more about this, you can check the links either on the description or on my comments uh, below of this video. Lastly, yung kinita ko sa Upwork. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Upwork account ko. Punta tayo sa Transaction History. Let's select July and then Withdrawals. So, bakit July? Bakit hindi June? Yung kinita ko kasi sa June is July ko na po siya na-withdraw. As you can see here, sa July 12 po ako na-withdraw. Ganito kasi yan. Uh, sa Upwork, yung kinita mo in the current week, hindi mo siya agad na ma-withdraw. Meron pa kasing 10 days uh, review period. So, at the end of the week, which is Sunday, magbibilang ka ng 10 days at doon mo lang ma-withdraw yung kinita mo for that particular week. So, nung last week ng June, yung Sunday of that week is July 1. 10 days uh, from that day is um, July 11. On this day, pwede ko na sana i-withdraw yung pera pero nakalimutan ko siyang i-withdraw. So, July 12 ko na siya nagawa. Bale, yung kinita ko for the whole month of June, winidraw ko siya ng isang pagsakan lang to make this income report much simpler. But actually, pwede kang mag-withdraw every week as long as meron ng available fund for uh, for withdrawal. If you have watched my previous income report, probably na-notice ninyo na iba po yung approach ko ngayon. Ganito ang ginawa ko para maging simple at accurate yung income report ko. For direct client, tinatrack ko po yung, yung time ko using this app which is called Time Doctor. At ito po yung total time na I've spent working for my direct clients. Inside Upwork naman, for Upwork clients, I'm using this Upwork Time Tracker. At ito po yung total na I've spent working uh, last June para sa mga clients ko inside Upwork. Upwork. 
If you are new to my channel, um, most probably you are asking right now kung paano po kayo makapagsimula or paano po kayo makakuha ng home-based online jobs. So what you can do right now is to check out these free trainings that I prepared for you. Below of this video, meron pong dalawang links. If you click this first link, pupunta po kayo sa page na to. Mag-sign up lang po kayo dito and you will get a free course where you will learn how to freelance from home. Yung isa naman, if you click this second link, pupunta po kayo into my Upwork tutorial playlist. Dito sa mga tutorials ko po, you will learn the following. How to create an Upwork account. In this video, pinakita ko po dito kung paano gumawa ng bagong account sa Upwork from scratch hanggang sa na-approve po yung bagong account na ginawa natin. Second, how to create an Upwork title. Third, how to create an effective profile overview. At uh, yung fourth channel ko din po dito, how I write my Upwork proposal. As of the moment, ito lang po yung mga tutorials na nasa playlist na to. But I will add more tutorials, so make sure to check this out frequently. I hope you learned something new today and if you like this video, can kindly hit that like button share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell to get the latest video from this channel about online jobs and how to earn money online thank you for watching and have a great day